What's up guys? I haven't done a video in a little while. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to do some work on the Audi. Need to put some electric fans on it. Sam put some new fuel pumps on it. So I've been working a lot, traveling a lot, but I'm getting ready to take T-Bird out for a cruise. And first time I've driven it in white night in a while, so I'm going to hit the weights in the gym, so it should be fun. It's been really good. It's got that little exhaust leak, but that's really just from Good night videos come out. That was me rubbing on the concrete because the thing's so low. Yeah, I figured just cruise. It's nice and cool out. Enjoy the cool weather. So although it's not like really a lot to see. I wish people knew the experience of driving an old car at night. It's amazing. It's a really, it's just a very unique experience. It's really good. So I'm here, I was just cruising around in the T-Bird. I went to the gym and it is just seriously beautiful night so just like show off how good this old girl looks at night Isn't that just like just stunning anyway I have a couple little a short clip from when I was in Phoenix I ended up going to Barrett Jackson the showroom out there in Scottsdale so Check out the video from Scottsdale at the Bear Jackson. All right, guys, stay tuned. I haven't been posting a ton, but the Audi project's gonna probably be this weekend, so stay tuned for that. And there's still a lot more on the T-Bird. But quite honestly, I'm just enjoying the fact I can cruise in it. She runs good, she doesn't overheat, she acts right. And that's been a long road to haul to get here. So I've been enjoying it. I haven't been doing a lot of projects. and. It's been stupid hot in Arizona, which I can't really complain about because it's Arizona, and I'm not, but I just don't feel like working in the garage when the garage is muggy and been sitting. So, all right, guys, peace. Jackson with my brother. What's up, Bryce? What's going on?
Isn't that Corvette steering wheel? No, uh, that's what it looks like. Thank you. 